Hi everyone, it's Tarnished Treasures and I went thrifting and I'm going to share with you what I purchased. So I went to Savers, but I did find um, this cute ornament. It was in a bag and I saw his little face and he's got a cotton body with chenille pipe cleaners. He's on a pine cone and I've never seen one on a piece of metal like that with um, the foil. So that is new to me but all the linens were 20 percent off and it just made them such great prices so this one was 80 cents and um most of these look like they've never been used before and it's the brand tag and i love all of their designs this one is a vera this one also was 80 cents and it's got three apothecary jars with some mints and then uh, peppermint sticks and then peppermints i mean how cute with the little pine needles this tablecloth was let's see 40 cents off so a dollar 60 and it has these roses i just i just loved it um it's a square i think so i was thinking more of like a picnic table outside in the spring a little cafe curtain or even something if you had like an open you know under the sink that could be gathered up I'll just probably use it as like a little tea towel. Then there was this piece. Um, this one was 80 cents as well. And I really loved these more faded olive green um, and, and darker red, like more Victorian color scheme. And then it's on the reverse here. So I just, like all of these were just, I don't know, delighting my eyes. <laughs> So this one looks like it's it's a runner, and then it has this edging. I don't know, handmade, older, don't know. I liked it. And then the last one I got that also was marked $1.99, so I got it for $1.60. So this one's a square as well, and I could see this out at like Mother's Day outside on a, um, a picnic table. I paid $1.60 for this bow tie. It's um, like a brown copper with pink and blue, and I thought maybe for the future for my son, for $1.60, and um, it's got these Mother of Pearl buttons, and I know that they're Mother of Pearl because I looked the brand up when I got home. Now, I did not look the brand up when I was at the store. I just read Carrot and Gibbs Pure Silk and Made in Colorado, and I thought, okay, that's expensive. Like, you don't find a label like that with silk made in the USA. So I just looked these up. It was like $85 or $88 for each bow tie, and when they went on sale, they were $55. So I might even wear this. <laughs> Magazine was $0.80. Cents. And um, I have seen this Victoria magazine, but I wasn't exactly sure what it was all about. I don't know if it's Victorian things. Um, maybe you guys will let me know, or maybe as soon as I look at it, I will figure it out. Look at the napkins, look at the spoons, look at whatever this dessert is. Like it's just the most beautiful photograph, this glass of wine. I went to an antique store and all of the Christmas was 50% off. This was marked at $5, so I paid $2.50. It was filled with random ornaments, but I really just wanted this smaller sized box to add to my collection. Because it was after Christmas, the man said, everything's a dollar. But I figured some of the smaller things he grouped together for a dollar. So I only spent know, seven or eight dollars. Um, so something like this was a dollar, but I picked this up because I thought it would be cute to go um, by the tree and it does have the tag that it's a Boyd's bear. Now, I don't really know anything about teddy bears. Um, let's see. It'd be interesting. So it says 1990. Okay. And it has a little tag on it. It's an investment collectibles. <laughs> But I love that bow. I think it's the perfect color. So I'm going to add it to the high chair. So cute. And I really got that because I knew my daughter would love it. And I couldn't pass this one up because the bear was dressed in a Santa suit. And that is 1990. And it's a, a Boyd's bear as well. This little pile was a dollar. And it was some um, napkins. So this, I love the little scalloped edge, I love the holly, and you can see that it's very, very thin. Um, I know people like to decoupage with, with the napkins, so there was a few of those, like maybe eight. And then there was this little pile, 
And when I saw it, I could just tell it wasn't something very modern. And when I opened it up, it says it was made in Denmark. So I won't be using these, I'll just, I mean, I might craft with a few and then some I'll just keep. Uh, and then these really awesome doilies. It's like a vintage seal or wrapping paper. So you can see these have like a bell that's centered and then some it has off center and it's more of the larger poinsettia. And then another um, tea towel. And I have found, let's see, what does that say? Where it says 100% cotton and you can tell it's been washed a lot, but these are so soft. And um, this one looked like it had block printing on it in that 80s homespun feeling. So I liked that. And ones like this that have been used a lot and they're soft, but there's no holes or stains or anything. They're just the best for absorb absorbing water in the kitchen. This was a dollar and I just couldn't leave it there. I saw it, I picked it up, I put it down and I said, no, this will be one of those things that you regret. So at the moment, I don't really have a spot in mind for it, but I loved those muted colors, little wooden beads, but not your, your typical ones. I've never come across these. Probably Midwest importers. There was definitely a lot of things that had those tags on there. Let me pull it out of the bag. It's definitely wired. Just fun. Maybe in my son's room. Yeah, I think that actually would be nice because I have some of those felt ornaments that have similar colors. And I think they're those Midwest Importers or Cannon Falls brand. And this little pile was a dollar too. I, I spent seven dollars. That's how much I, I spent there. So there was some beautiful velvet with some bells that were, I don't know, probably hand sewn, kind of like crafty but I love the velvet um, and I can use the bells. And I think they look like they're all lined up. So who knows what I'll do with that. Um, and then this little sled I thought would be perfect. Um, I might actually put a little, um, what do you call them? Those little, those little elves on there. That would, be, that would be nice. And it's marked Italy. So that was a nice find. These were the first things that I found when I was there and they have mirrors on them and some of this little foil. They have uh, hangers and they all have this made in Japan tag still attached to them. So I might like those for my feather tree. I also think it would be fun. You could glue something on top of those very easily. And then um, I had been thinking about this for a while. I should have just gotten it a while ago. I'm sure that my mom had one of these on the Christmas tree when I was a kid. Um, I love miniature stuff and so does my daughter. So I picked that up for my daughter. I thought that she could use that in her room just to play with um, in the dollhouse. And this is the last thing that I picked up from uh, the man. Um, I never saw this all the times that I was walking around. So vintage sewing supplies. And it's a cute idea. There's this little easel. It's probably from Michael's or Dollar Store. And probably get a pack of them. Some vintage buttons. And then some little Christmas notions. I don't know what that is. If the artist made that, you know, made it look old. If it actually is a sewing thing. A little bit of ribbon. Um, I thought that was really cute. Cute and different. And then next to it was this little vintage pack of mother of pearl buttons. So um, at another stand there, I, I um, got these little butter pats. These were, I asked the man how much he said a dollar for the stack. So $8 today at the flea market. And it's a little bit of green transfer wear and I'm definitely in that red and green mood for Christmas still. What do we have? Trentum. JHW and Sons, Hansley, England, semi porcelain. And they've got some really nice crazing. That one's got a touch of pink that got into it. All different colors and crazing happening there. And when I decorate for Christmas, I like to mix stuff in with what I already have. And um, green is the color that I like to decorate with. So I just envision like an angel 
on top of that, or I really envisioned a um, bottle brush tree. Now this is obviously not a bottle brush tree, a little too big, but I just thought that that could add a, a little bit of nice height to something. And then if you saw the design, it would be green. So I'm just gonna cl actually clean those up first and then add them back in, but a quarter for each little plate. On to the last part of my haul. So these were actually the last two things I found at the store, and I am so glad that I discovered them because I guess they're just so small, and then there they were on the shelf. So they were marked $4 a piece, and they're actually stamped Germany. Um, I think they're in really nice shape, and I don't have any that are this small, so I'm so excited to add these to my collection. Um, definitely the aesthetic that I'm turning into. Um, so $4, and then these little pearl um, pins, $2. And I think I have one or two others. These are just great to fasten things. And it's like a fancy like safety pin. <laughs> then I got this candle snuffer. It was a dollar. That just had a nice classic look to it. And then I got a tablecloth. And um, there were a bunch of linens and I saw I saw the bottom part of this one and I thought, oh, okay, that's pretty. But then when I opened it up and I saw this scalloped detail, I thought, how beautiful. Um, and I actually have glasses similar where it has the swag that comes down. So I'm just really in to that right now. And then it's got some more beautiful work here. And the last piece I picked up was this dress and it's Albert Nippon. It's um, silk. And I tried it on, it's got little um, shoulder pads that I will remove, but I really loved this part and then how it came apart and then you could see the design. And bonus, it has pockets that I didn't realize when I was um, purchasing it. And it's got like the right length um, sleeve, so I'll just have to fix that little part there. Um, so when I tried it on, it's like mid-calf. It's actually not a very attractive length. Um, and the way that it's cut, it just, it's not billowy looking. So I thought um, that I am going to hem it up to a short dress so I can keep the pockets. And, and um if I don't like that length, then maybe I'll turn it more into like a, a blouse or a tunic. But for a dollar, I will definitely try my hand at hemming um, that dress. See here are my two little guys added with the other three that I have. And um, these, now that I look at them, have that similar collar. They have their bells though, and the little guys do not. Um, but I cannot see any marking that would have said Germany on these, but you can see that they're faded and how bright those two are. I just had to try it on the table before I washed it, but it fits perfectly. And what's really cool is that this piece here comes to the corner. And then you can see the swag, just beautiful. And then here, it's been made in several different pieces. So when you flip it, you can see how it was sewn together. So that was a really nice find. And then also laying it out, you can see how clean it is, except for just these little pin, pin spots. But I think that will clean up and lighten out really well. Definitely gives it that Victorian feeling.